Pet shops are a common sight in Japan. There are apparently 5,000 pet shops nationwide. Hey Yoshi, Yoshi, it's Yoshi, my dog. Hello. There are also probably a fancier uh, pet shops in the cities like Tokyo and Osaka. <laughs> While it is more common to get pets from home improvement stores in the countryside. Home improvement stores, yes. They sell pets apparently. Most of the pets you can get from the home improvement stores are way cheaper than the ones you see at the pet stores. But note that the environment for these animals are also different. With that being said, make sure to check the reviews on internet to make sure that you are choosing the reliable place before getting a furry friend. <laughs> You're not a reliable furry friend, Yoshi. The price also totally depends on where you be getting your pet. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, if you get a pet from a home implement stores, it's gonna be cheaper and will be like less than 100,000 yen. On the other hand, if you go to the fancier pet shops in the cities, it's very possible to see a cat and a dog priced 1 million yen. Is it like really? Really? <laughs> oh shit! You wanna go? There are also normal pet shops where the price ranges from 200,000 yen to 500,000 yen depending on the size and the breed. Speaking of the prices, some shops actually include everything in the prices, as I mentioned earlier. For example, for a pet that is priced at 400,000 yen, you also get a food like this or cage bags and toys, pee pad, etc. I'd recommend look for a stores like this if you are planning on getting a dog. <laughs> it is also said that people in Japan spend around 11,000 yen for their dogs a month, but I think it totally depends on the size and breed. My dog Yoshi, uh, it's not this Yoshi. Yoshi, where are you? <laughs> My dog Yoshi is a Pomeranian, which all we know is a small breed. His bed, visit, supplies, etc. cost less than 5,000 yen a month. Unless we have to get a vaccine for him or a certain medicine, which really happens. Again, it totally depends on the size of the dog, the breed, and also the owners. Hello. There are a lot of dog parks in cities like Tokyo, so it's pretty fun to spend a day with your furry friend. Note that before letting your dogs off leash in one of the dog parks, make sure to register him or her first beforehand. Most of the time you need to bring proof that your dog has received all the vaccines that he needs to be considered as a safe and healthy dog. Some perks allow dogs to enter with their humans as well, but note that some perks don't. So be sure to check before bringing your dogs to your neighborhood park. We all know that apartments in Tokyo are tiny, which is the main reason why most of dog owners have smaller breeds like Chihuahua or Toy Poodles or even Yoshi. Unfortunately, not all of the apartments allow dogs and cats in their premises, so if you are living in Japan and then planning to have dogs and cats in the future, make sure that the landlord allows pets in the first place. If they allow tenants to have pets, they will most likely ask for a shikikin, which is like a deposit you will have to pay when you have pets in the apartment. When you go outside for a walk, you are expected to have a poop bag on hand and also a bottle of water to rinse their pee if they do their business outside. Also, no one is allowed to leave dogs in the public spaces, especially off-leash. Many dog owners in general are friendly and talk to other dog owners 
Unfortunately, and this is a true story, some dog owners don't want to socialize at all. Some of them would even go out of the way and facing on the opposite side as I passed by. Mm, weird, huh? <laughs> there are a few restaurants and cafes that do allow dogs, and some of them even have their own menu for dogs. They are a bit difficult to find, so it's best to search before you go. There is also the adaption option for people who want to have dogs in Japan. I only considered this after getting Yoshi from the pet shop. As we have also met other dog owners recently, I've heard the dark side of story of pet culture here, like discarding puppies, etc. I don't regret getting Yoshi from the pet shop, but as being a junior dog lover, I'm gonna adopt dogs from adoption center for the next time. Pets deserve second chances too. And that's it for today. I hope this video gave you some ideas of having dogs in Japan. Also these days I upload videos about traveling in Japan, so if you guys are interested, check these videos out. And also if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. See you in the next video.